Okay, here we have root 50 plus root 8. And over there we have 7 root 18 minus root 32. And let's just start simplifying this addition of radicals over here. So remember that 50 is just 2 times 25. So I'll leave that here for now. And remember that 8 is just 2 times 4. Why am I doing this? I could have used the factor tree instead, but I can real. I just realized that 50 is just 2 times 25. 25 is a perfect square, and 4 is also a perfect square. So what I can do here is that I can split up the root 2 times 25 into root 2 times the root of 25. That is a property of radicals, by the way. Every time that you're multiplying two numbers inside the radicals, let's pretend that they're x and y, you can split up the radical and say root x times root y. But be really careful because one rule that many people think is also right but is completely wrong is that root x plus y that is not equal to root x plus root y but many people think it is just because of this rule over here this one's correct but this one totally wrong anyways coming back over here so the root of 2 times 25 is just the root of 2 times the root of 25 over here we had the 8, which is just 2 times 4. We can rewrite it as root 2 times root 4 also. So root 25 is just 5, and 5 times root 2 is just 5 root 2. And here we have root 2 times root 4. Root 4 is 2. 2 times root 2 is just 2 root 2. And finally, 5 root 2 plus 2 root 2. 5 plus 2 is 7 root 2. And this is our final answer to the addition of these two radicals. Over here we have 7 root 18. Root 18 can be rewritten as 2 times, or sorry, root 2 times 9. And root 32, I can simplify that into 2 times 16 for the same reasons as I just We've got 2 times 25 for 50. So over here I have root 2 times root 9. And over here I have 2 times root 16. Now, if you're not feeling comfortable with this method of just realizing what the perfect square is inside these numbers, you can always just work on the factor tree first. So I could have done a factor tree for 18 to figure out what the mixed radical would be. So here I have 7 times root 2 times root 9. Root 9 is just 3. 3 times 7 is 21. So I get 21 root 2. And over here, I have root 2 times root 16. Root 16 is just 4. 4 times root 2, just root 2. So 21 minus 4 is 17. And we still have the root 2. 17 root 2 is the final answer.